Hello everyone, so I'm moving at the end of July and I wanted to go ahead and film a little bookshelf tour to kind of show you what my bookshelves look like now and then we can see what they look like in my new place because I don't know if I'm going to change the organization or not but we're going to go ahead and take a look at my bookshelves now before they change. My first bookshelf, this is my second bookshelf. Okay, thanks. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Just kidding, let's go ahead and get on with the actual video now. Okay, hello. So welcome to my living room. Um, I'm gonna preface this by saying, one, my water heater is in there and it's really obnoxious and I can't get it to turn off so you might hear that in the background and I'm sorry. Two, um, my organization is not perfect on any of these bookshelves by any means. I do what I like, you can do what you like. So this is my first bookshelf here. These are all of my series. So I'm not going to talk too much about every single book that's on here, but I'll kind of go into a couple of things. So right on top here, we have my pop figures of Harry and Meghan because they're my favorites. And then I have this little elephant ceramic thing because I love elephants. Then this is the first shelf you see. This is kind of like my Hamilton Disney shelf. So I've got the Hamilton American Musical booklet thing. And then I've got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of The Revolution. I've got my Polaroid camera here. I made this. It says Walt Disney World. It's the partner statue. So we love that. And then these are just my different glasses, all from Disney. And then I have my Hamilton one, which is by far my favorite. And then I've got my little Hamilton reusable bag kind of on display there. And then hiding behind there, I've got my Harry Potter audiobooks, at least two of them. So. That's my first shelf. Then we move down to my Harry Potter shelves. I have all of the hardback American ones and then I've started collecting some other editions of them. This one's paperback, this one's hardback. I'm just kind of collecting them over time and then I've got a bunch of different pop figures here. And then I'm working on collecting the illustrators editions as well. And then I just have this cute puzzle here. So that's my Harry Potter shelf. So now we're down to the bottom three shelves and this is my series categorized by author. So these are the ones that are by far not perfect. So I start with Leigh Bardugo because she's at the beginning of the alphabet. Love all these books. Still don't have Ruin and Rising and I'm also looking to get the new covers in the hardback. My collection's a little incomplete there. Then I have my Twisted Tales by Liz Braswell. And I know these aren't technically a series, but I have all three of them here because they look like a series and they go well together. So we're calling it. Then I have my Cassandra Clare books. I have never read Cassandra Clare. So this is my starting lineup. Got my favorite trilogy here. And then I've got A Court of Thorns and Roses. And down here is A Court of Mist and Fury. But here's the tea. It's too tall to stand up on these bookshelves. I would not recommend these bookshelves. I don't love them. I like my Ikea one more, but we'll get into that in a second. Then I've got Throne of Glass. And then Crown of Midnight, I can only find in paperback. So it kind of infuriates me that I have one in hardback and one in paperback but we'll be fine with it. And then the French Kiss, <laughs> only have the first one, it's fine. Then I've got the Percy Jackson series. I've only read the first two of these. You'll find that I haven't read the majority of these. And then I've just got the rest of, I'm gonna call him Rick, cause I don't know if it's Riordan or Riordan. So Rick's books. <laughs> and I just have up until the Mark of Athena on there. Then we've got the Girl Online trilogy. I haven't decided if I want to reread these. I read the first two a long time ago never finished. Then I only have the third book in the um, Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, I think, because it was on sale at Barnes & Noble, and I'm trash for a good sale of a series I think I'll like. Down here, we just kind of have my random stuff. I just bought this Twilight box set, and then I've got, um, this is a series, but then there's multiple authors by different last names, so like, you can't really fit it up here, so that's why it's down here. And then these are a bunch of school books, and then my Bible, and this is a journal that I take all my Bible notes in. Now that we've concluded this shelf, we're gonna move right on over here to my sandalins, but I first wanna talk about this tapestry I have. And then I have these blankets here, and then my elephant pillow that my good friend Jasmine gave me. I love it so much. And then my mom got me this Hamilton blanket. It's the one that's um, the wool one. Love it, super fancy, and it goes really well together. But I really love this tapestry. <laughs> All right, so we're now at my standalones. I'm going to talk a little bit less about these because there is more to cover. But these are the bookshelves I'd recommend. This is the Billy Bookcase from Ikea, I believe. The one everybody talks about. Um, so we're going to kind of just get into my standalones that I have on here and a little bit of the decor. 
So I do my standalones in rainbow order. However, this shelf is not perfect either. None of my shelves are perfect. Um, you will find a couple series that I have the first book of on this shelf, but we'll get into that in a minute. So we'll start off in my white section. I'll kind of like point out one book of each color that I really love. Um, so we're gonna talk about this one. This is Before I Go by Riley Weston. I actually have not read this one yet. But the reason I love this book so much is because um, a good friend of mine wrote me this note. She sent me this book and highly recommends it. So I kind of just cherish it for sentimental reasons. I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure I'm going to love it. It's on my TBR. For pink, I'm going to talk about something I haven't talked about on my channel before, and that's going to be Pride and Prejudice. Uh, I own this edition of Pride and Prejudice. I have never read it. I know it's a classic. It's one that I want to read. So, Pride and Prejudice. Woohoo! And if you want to see any of these on the top shelf here, you can just pause or glimpse over them and you can see what they are. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll get into my reds. I'm going to talk about my most anticipated red read, and that is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. Very highly anticipating that one. I know it's going to be really good. I'm excited to check it out. My favorite one of the reds that I have read is Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Now we're in my oranges, and the reds kind of bleed over in here. That's the one thing I found with like having it rainbow, is that when you get a new book that goes on this top shelf, it gets frustrating. <laughs> but I really love how it looks. So um, let's talk about orange. What if it's us? Current favorite book, one of at least. Um, so that's gonna be the one there. And it actually, this one is a signed first edition, so. Um, Adam Silvera is one of my favorite authors, so to have a signed book by him is just amazing. So, What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. And if you haven't noticed, Belle is one of my favorite characters of all time. I have a lot of pop figures of her, so she's kind of like a reoccurring theme. Let's get into yellow. I haven't read this one, this one, or this one. The only one I've read is this one, and I don't know how much I recommend it. It was good. I liked it, but I didn't love it. So, like, there you go. There's my favorite of the yellows, because it's the only one I've read. However, I anticipate this one being my favorite. Greens, um, we'll talk about Fangirl. I have two editions of that. I have the pink edition and the green edition. Why? Because I bought the green edition first, but I really wanted the pink edition. And then I saw the pink edition at Target and I ended up buying it. So that's how I have two editions of that. I don't know if it's a book that I would want to own two editions of, but I do. So we're keeping it. We'll get into the blues. History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. This is another one of the Zoella Book Club exclusive covers. So this is not only the UK cover, but it is also like slightly different from the UK cover. And this is one of my favorite books of all time. Super good. Love it so much. Would highly recommend. The recurring theme of this is Adam Silvera. So like Adam Silvera. Next, let's talk about this. This is a little pop figure. It's Mr. Meeseeks from Rick and Morty. My sister actually got this for me and I love it so much because she got it for me and she paid for it with her own money. And we love. We're on to dark blues. I have a lot of these, so we're gonna just kind of breeze through this quickly. Got a Maui um, Tsum Tsum here. Love him. And then I got a Moana pop figure right next to him. And her Pua is actually right up here hiding. <laughs> um, by invitation only. I got this on a cruise in a free little library, so I'm excited to check that out. They Both Die at the End by Adam Silver is another one of my anticipated reads and truly devious. I got from Half Price Books for like $9. So I'm excited to check that out. I've heard a lot of things about that. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Really good book. The um, audiobook is narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda, and I love Lin-Manuel Miranda, if you couldn't tell by my Hamilton shelf. So really love the audiobook on that one. Now we're hanging out on one of my lower shelves. And the reason I like these bookshelves over the other ones is that there's a lot more space, so I don't have the issue of things not fitting. So I really love that. So I have This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This is the first book in the This Savage Song or Our Dark Duet du duology, I don't know. Um, but I was very excited to finally get that. Here are two of the books that I was hinting at, saying I have the first in the series on the shelf. It's because I don't own any of the others and I liked the look of them here. All right, we're down on the lower shelves. These are all graphic design based books here. Um, so these are all things that I reference. Um, Starting a career as a freelance illustrator or graphic designer. I do want to freelance at some point, so I bought that. And the rest of these were gifts from my dad because he likes buying me artsy books, and I appreciate it greatly. Then these three here are journals. These are the Oh My Disney Princes collection. Love those. 
and then those two are just assorted journals and then one of my favorite animals is a manatee so I have this webkins from like years ago then here I just have my Rick pop figure it's actually broken um it fell off the shelves and I haven't repaired it yet so he's just chilling down here and then here I have my two sleeves from fandom sleeves I actually just got one more I bought it and it's in the mail and I'm so excited about it but I have the Incredibles one that came out when they uh, launched their Incredibles line when the movie came out. And then I have my Black Marble one. And I only buy sleeves from Fandom Sleeves right now. They're my favorite brand and I am tried and true to those. However, if you have any other brands you recommend, feel free to let me know because I do want to support more small shops. But I just can't get over how quality these are and I like that they don't like, you know, like flimsy when you hold them. And I also like that you don't see the inner color on the outside. That's a big pet peeve of mine. So like the colors from the outside got to wrap into the inside. So there's my little picky book sleeve commentary there. <laughs> then down here we have a bunch of random assorted goodies. So this is a bottle cap launcher. This has kind of become a catch-all. Sorry. This is a bottle cap launcher. Um, this was sent to me by mistake and I tried contacting the person who was supposed to get it. Um, they delivered it to the wrong person in my apartment and um, I've contacted them so many times and they haven't messaged me back so I don't know what to do. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna give this to a friend. Then I have this bookmark. Um, this is one that I just grab in a pinch if I don't have any specific one. This is just from a bookstore in Juneau, Alaska. Then I've got my Harry Potter tabs. I got these in my stocking and they're just super cute. And I haven't used them yet because I like to hoard stationery. This is a Sephora gift card from my friend Joe. These are four Harry Potter art prints and they look super cool and I haven't gotten to hang them up yet because the frames kept breaking on me. So when I finally have these hung up, hopefully when you see my new bookshelf tour, hopefully they'll be hung up and I can show you them there. And then I've also got a Splash Mountain one because Splash Mountain is one of my favorite rides at Disney. So I know that was a bit more lengthy than I intended it to be, but that is everything that is on my standalone shelves here. And again, if you want to pause any of these to check out every title that is on these shelves, I'm going to kind of do a slow overview here. Feel free to pause and check them out. And that's everything I have to talk about in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Happy reading. I wish you would stop mowing the lawn and doing lawn work right now. Try to film. <laughs>